Hey guys, Yifto here, and today I'm back with an new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the slash particle command added into Minecraft 1.8, and will be actually now a lot easier to do in Minecraft 1.9, hence why I'm using the new snapshot, and in particular, the repeating command block. Now, if you want this command to look good, you need it to be repeating in some way, so you can either set this up with repeaters, with just a regular command block, if you're trying to do this on 1.8, or if you want to start using 1.9, you can use the repeating command block as a better alternative it just makes things a lot easier and a lot more compact if you don't have the space, maybe it's an adventure map you need to really confine this command you need it to be as small as possible and this is the best way of doing that now the command itself is fairly simple to do the second half a little bit more complicated but it should all make sense by the end of this video in this video I'm going to be showing you the command as well as some of my favourites multiple different ones you can do way more than I've shown here just because I've be going on for a long long time if I try to show every one of them so if you want to know every one of them you can either do slash particle and then hit tab and it will show you them all or you can go on to the Minecraft wiki which is linked in the description and there's a whole list which will actually show you what they look like before you actually put the command in which is probably a good thing so you don't end up putting it in and then go oh actually I want to change that to something else it's just a lot of more hassle so you can see what they actually look like on there so the actual command is slash particle that's how you start every one of them and I've chosen heart here, this is just one of the ones you can use and then you've got this bit which I'm sure you kind of freaked out when you saw this bit like oh that looks a bit complicated don't worry this is literally just the same every time you can just put this in every single time and it comes out the same it's just supposed to change the speed and the actual count or you can actually change the count quite well by upping that number but I'm going to be keeping it as it is because if you start upping it too much at least in these ones it comes out just crazy. There's way too many particles, and it probably end up crashing your game if you don't have a good enough computer, or it will just make you lag. So there's no point in messing around with all that. Just put that in, and then you can have, if you are using this, you can have it set to always active, or of course just activate your command block, and then you'll see the particles come out. Now this looks particularly good if you're using a server and you want to really show off your server, make it look real nice when people enter the game. You can have some kind of nice particle effects, maybe on the floor, coming out of the ground. Obviously, conceal this command block in some way but you can put it in the walls or just somewhere anywhere really just have it coming off and make it look good I know some servers actually have it come off the player when they play in game or as like a trail but I'm pretty certain that's plugin only because I've looked in a lot into this command and I cannot find any way of doing that at least not repeating I do know how to, you can just put this command in yourself and it will come out on your player but there's no way of upping the actual duration there should be maybe that will change in the future but at time of recording there is no way of doing it so that is the heart one, I think that's a particularly good one, obviously from when you breed animals. I will turn it off so we don't have them all on at the same time. And this is a particular popular a partic particularly popular one. Particularly popular one, which is the enchantment one. Now this is somewhat laggy, but it doesn't help that I'm on the snapshot, frankly. It helps if you've got Optifine and all that. So if you do have a good enough computer, you could use this one. And it works pretty well, well they all work pretty well to be fair. And it looks, it looks good. I mean, everyone loves the, or at least everyone I know, loves the enchantment symbols. They just, I, I think they look pretty good. They look pretty weird, but somewhat mesmerizing in a way. So that's a good one to have on. You could definitely have that in some kind of setup where maybe it's an adventure map and you have to find the enchantment table. And the idea is you, you follow the trail. And, you know, to find it, you have to follow the trail of the enchantment uh, symbols. You could have something like that. And you could have those in the ground. Maybe you walk over a pressure plate and it activates. So you know you're going the right way. Something like that. I've just thought of that on the spot, so I'm sure you can think of something better. Now, this is a very good one. Now, this is red dust, which comes off of redstone. But it's actually multicolored when you actually use it. So if you change it to always active, you'll actually get loads of weird glittery colors, I guess. They're just in, like, some weird puff. I don't know what it's supposed to represent because I know it's supposed to be redstone but where all these extra colors are coming from I don't know but it looks good if you're making some kind of disco or something you could definitely put one of those in maybe some kind of firework display if you're having some fireworks you could have these as almost like those base fireworks that go off at the bottom that don't actually go very high something like that whatever you want to do with it slime slime is another very popular one on servers a lot of people always use this when they're playing hunger games if they've obviously donated like 50 odd quid to get to use it along with other stuff obviously it's not that big a rip off but I don't know, personally I don't really see the attraction but using them in your survival is a great way of doing it or at least using it for free I guess so you can use this and I think it looks pretty good I mean the slime one is definitely one of my favorite ones over here we've got some of the new ones now Dragon Breath is obviously new to microphone point nine and it literally just sends off a load of random almost like pink squiggles or whatever this, you can't really see any of them for too long before they fly out of just anywhere they just fly all about the place on this one there's no structure to it, but it looks quite good. 
I don't know where you could use this one. There's not really any uh, any ideas coming to mind as where you could actually put this into an adventure map. But I'm sure you can think of something that you can do. Which one even is it? I can't even work out which one it's coming from. There we go. Now, this is another one. This is a sweep attack, which is basically when you get a critical now in Minecraft 1.9 with the new combat. It comes out as this cool, almost like a tornado y, cartoon y style thing there. Either one of those, I guess, almost like, um, like I said, like a cartoon battle where someone, like, I don't know, like scratches someone or something, like Wolverine or something. Or you use something like a, like I say, a, a tornado if you wanted to make some kind of. You obviously need a lot more of them than just with one. But if you had, like, a whole pillar of these, I'm sure you could fool some adventure map players into thinking that you've created some kind of natural disasters mod to go with your your map. And the last one here, this doesn't actually have much of a purpose, but it looks pretty crazy. And you could use this as some kind of jump scare. Uh, brace yourself for this one. Basically when you activate this, you will have the Ender... I mean, that's so hard to look at sometimes. The uh, Elder Guardian, like his face comes down on you like continuously. It looks really weird, so I'm going to turn that off. But that is something you could do as well if you really wanted to. I'm not sure why you would. At least you could use that one as an alternative to using a repeat. You could set it to impulse and have it go off just once. That way, it would you could use it as a jump scare. Or you could use it as a almost foreboding for a big battle that's about to happen, potentially with the Elder Guardian. Whatever you want to do with it, you know, there's so many possibilities with this. Now that you know how to use the slash particle command, hopefully this video has helped you find out how to do that. If it has, then please just take a second to hit the like button, and thanks for watching.